Welcome back to another video series concerning Logbook Pro and how to get the most out of your software. In this video, we're going to take a look at exporting data from Logbook Pro to other formats. Uh, one of our other videos is using the import wizard where we showed you how you can import comma separated values or tab delimited text data files and bring your data from another program uh, such as Excel or another flight log product or a PDA into Logbook Pro for use. This specific video, we're going to take a look at exporting your data. You can export your data from uh, most any area of Logbook Pro, whether it's your main data entry screens, as we're looking at here. We're using the certificate screen as an example. But if you have a spreadsheet style layout, as we see here, which is capable uh, of export in the certificates, ratings, history, even the explore, most of the screens, and your Logbook spreadsheet style area is exportable. The export options can be found on the sub toolbar here uh, as you see where I've clicked or under the file export menu option. All right, So we have the same export uh, capabilities from two locations on your menus. We can export our spreadsheet style entry systems directly to Microsoft Excel if in fact you have Excel installed on your computer. We can take it to a web page in HTML format we can export it to a comma separated value format or export it to a flat file text database tab delimited format. Now I just want to warn you if you are exporting to a comma separated value make sure your remarks column you don't have any punctuation such as a comma in your remarks column otherwise it's going to throw the system off where you take your where you read your data after it's been exported it will break that column on the comma. So use caution whenever you're looking at importing or exporting the comma separated value formats of where your commas may be. So let's go ahead and do an example of an export. In this case, let's export to HTML. All we do is click the export option and it will give us a file name based on uh, your database name and in this case it's NC Software Sample, the area that we're exporting and we'll throw in the date. You can obviously rename this anything you want and then select the location for export. The export occurs. We can go ahead and and uh, run that file. Let's go ahead and open it. Let's go. And there is our data that's exported, as you can see right here within a web browser, the certificates data. Nice, clean representation. So you can post your data, uh, or if you have a personal website, or for the company, whatever the need may be, that is an option. Let's take a look at exporting our reports. Reports have different export capabilities, as you can see by clicking the export option. We can export to a rich text format, the very famous Acrobat Reader PDF, Format Acrobat Reader is a free software courtesy of Adobe, which you can get from www.adobe.com. Again, if you have Excel on your computer, you can export your reports directly to Microsoft Excel. You can create web pages, just as we just showed, as well as the tab delimited text file. And a new feature is the multi paged TIFF image. A TIFF image is an image file, such as a JPEG, Portable Networks Graphic. Uh, copy serve bitmap GIF file. However, a TIFF has a capability of having multiple pages. Uh, so here you can see this report has two pages. Let's go ahead and and uh, export this report to the multi-page TIFF as an example. We'll leave the file name to the default, and then we'll go in and actually open up that uh, TIFF file. Eh, which is this one right here, as we can see. Whoops, I'm sorry, it's up at the top. Just double click it. The Windows XP uh, will open the viewer, and you can see we've got the export of our report. And if you look down at the bottom, you can actually see where there are paging options because the uh, Windows Picture and Facts viewer of Windows XP or your other type of uh, graphics viewers. Uh, that are capable of reading TIFF files will recognize that there are multiple pages. Here we can see there are two pages. We'll click and go to page two. So you can see you can actually preserve your reports uh, to an image which can also be put on a web page or uh, copied and pasted into another program if you so desire. 
Um, we also have the option of copying this page directly to the clipboard. Just click the uh, copy icon and your report can be copied to the clipboard. It's only the uh, page in view, so it's not the entire report, it's the page you have viewed in the viewer at this time, as you can see on the screen, will be copied to the Windows clipboard. So you can see we have multiple export options here for reports. And as you saw with the TIFF image, a very nice, clean export option. We can also export our graph data. Here I've got a, a flights by year chart with no filters. We're looking at all data. I can also copy this uh, graph to, a, uh, to the Windows clipboard, which can then be pasted into any type of program, such as Microsoft PowerPoint if you're trying to do a presentation, or Microsoft Word, or... Uh, into a graphics program if you want to take it into a graphics program uh, via the Windows clipboard. But there's also the capability of exporting to a JPEG and a Portable Networks graphic image file. When uh, you do select the export option, you'll be offered whether or not you want to export it in color or if you want to drop it to grayscale. If you're curious or uh, concerned about file size, you can reduce some of that file size by going to grayscale or if you're going to uh, be printing, um, the grayscale option is available. We'll go ahead and export it in color. And let's go ahead and take a look at this export. And there we are. Again, in our Windows Picture and Facts view, we're looking at the graphic, a crystal clear, sharp export of our chart data. And we can look in the, uh, in the graph video later at how you can actually prepare uh, your graphs to show values and uh, formatting and color schemes, total control. But take a look at the graphs video on how to, how to do that. So in this video, we took a look at exporting your data from Logbook Pro from your data entry areas, which also include your Explorer area that display the data in a spreadsheet-style layout, uh, to multiple format options for export. We also looked at the reports and the many export options you can do with the reports. And then the graphs, where you can take it to the graphics file or the web page. All exports options do go to web pages. They'll build HTM files for you automatically. Hope you enjoyed this video. This concludes the video on exporting data.